Tesla has held the throne for electric vehicles for a while now. And one of the biggest arguments against them as a long-lasting company is that, once other manufacturers decide to make an electric vehicle, they will do so scale it far easier, get costs much lower, and wipe out Tesla entirely. So far this has not been the case, but this year as well as in 2022, is when, we will be seeing the true Tesla EV competition. We're going to talk about all of Tesla's upcoming competition, but stick with the mainstream companies we have actually heard of. And focus on the vehicles that will actually come to production, as opposed to talking about concepts that we'll probably never see. There are lots of great options coming to market. So let's get started. For reference and quick overview, Tesla sells four vehicles. The Model 3, Model Y, Model S and Model X. The Model 3 is a small sedan, seats five and comes in at the cheapest. It gets up to 353 miles of range. The Model Y is a crossover SUV, seats five or seven, and gets up to 326 miles of range. The Model S and X are much pricier, but the new refresh Model S can get up to 405 miles of range, and the Model X gets up to 360 miles of range. Keep in mind that these ranges, as well as all of the estimated ranges we'll be talking about today, are from the EPA and do not represent real-world range. In nearly every scenario, your real range is going to be lower than these estimates. One thing to keep in mind with all of these upcoming vehicles is where your charging options will be. Tesla has a huge advantage with their worldwide supercharger network that is currently exclusive to their vehicles. Making trips in a Tesla is incredibly easy, but other EVs may have difficulty. There are many great charging networks coming up, and so far all EVs with the exception of one company are relying on third-party charging to keep your vehicle charged on the road. Charging at home is the best most convenient and cheapest option, but the goal is that these can be people's only cars, and long term, that means you need to be able to drive anywhere without issue. Also, EVs qualify for federal tax credit and some incentives from states. So to start off with, let's talk about our first electric vehicle, and one that has been out for a while now, the Chevy Bolt. The Chevy Bolt has been a popular EV for some time, and Chevy just relaunched it in 2022, along with an SUV version of it. The 2022 Chevy Bolt is a slight refresh from the older version, and is a small hatchback that seats up to five. It includes things like one-pedal driving, Apple CarPlay, an instrument cluster display, lane keep assist, emergency braking, and gets up to 259 miles of an EPA range. For charging, it includes DC fast charging standard, and a 240 volt charging unit lets you plug in at home. There are two main trims for the Chevy Bolt, and the cheapest one starts at $31,995, which is a great price for what this car offers. If the Chevy Bolt is too small for you, but you like the price point and features offered, Chevy just announced the new 2022 Bolt EUV. The Bolt EUV is very similar to the normal Bolt and includes all of the same standard features with a much more spacious interior. Most likely if you compared the specs of the Bolt EV to the Tesla Model 3, the Bolt EUV would feel like a Model Y. The launch edition of the Bolt EUV includes a few specific upgrades, like a panoramic sunroof, upgraded wheels and badging, and the big one, GM Super Cruise. Unfortunately this is only available on the more expensive trims, but they come in at a decent price. The range of the Bolt EUV is 250 miles, which is pretty great, considering the price point for this car. The cheapest Chevy Bolt EUV starts at $34,000. Now let's talk about a more premium brand, Audi. Audi has a few electric vehicles on the way, to add to their current e-tron. The current e-tron is available starting at $64,900 and includes a number of premium features. It includes air suspension and a 0 to 60 of 5.5 seconds. The top range of the Audi e-tron is 222 miles. Upcoming, Audi is planning the 2022 e-tron GT. 
It's a great-looking car with similar premium Audi features, but starts at a whopping $100,945. It should get about 238 miles of range when it is released. But it's more focused on performance, with a 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Upcoming from Audi as well is their e-tron Q4, which will be their cheapest electric vehicle by far. The Q4 e-tron is an SUV that is supposed to go on sale later this year. It will cost around $45,000 or a little more and gets up to 250 miles of range on a charge and a 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds. There are two versions of this car, one with a normal SUV back and one with more of a sloped back called the Sportback. This puts the shape more in line with a lot of popular crossover SUVs and the Tesla Model Y. No doubt this will be a very popular car for Audi, as it's a truly compelling EV, with a decent 250-mile range, at a price point on par, with other electric vehicles instead. Now back to the more affordable brands, we have some exciting upcoming EVs, from Hyundai. The Hyundai Ioniq and Kona Electric have been on the market already and have proved fairly successful. However, Hyundai is planning to make many more electric vehicles on the Ioniq platform, starting with the Ioniq 5. The Ioniq 5 has some very cool design elements to it, although the production version seems to be a little simpler than the prototype. It's coming in the fall of 2021 and should start around $45,000. It features an impressive 800-volt architecture and should achieve up to 290 miles of range, according to estimates. It doesn't pack as much power as many other EVs, with a 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds. But the fast charging capabilities and feature-packed interior should make it a very compelling option. Hyundai has yet to detail exactly what their driver assistance systems will be but it should offer a level 2 autonomous mode, similar to Tesla Autopilot or GM Super Cruise. Next is Volkswagen, who's moving quickly into the electric vehicle market. They already have a couple electric vehicles available on their ID platform, and the most popular one and only one available in the US, for the time being, is the ID4. It starts at $40,000 and gets a range of 250 miles. 250 miles seems to be the standard for most of these electric vehicles coming to market, but there are a few over 300. The ID4 is an SUV with a panoramic glass roof, lots of cargo space, and many great software features. Although in reviews, we have heard that the software can feel pretty slow and clunky compared to other brands. IQ Drive is their own advanced driver assistance technology and will fall similarly in line with GM Super Cruise. Additionally, they're planning an ID5 and ID6 in other countries, so we imagine we'll see many more options of this platform in the years to come. For right now, the ID4 is the main one available everywhere. Next up is BMW. Believe it or not, BMW has plans for a number of electric vehicles. The BMW i4 is expected in 2022, with a range of 300 miles and 0 to 60 under 4 seconds. It is expected to cost around $50,000, but there are not many other details besides an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack. Overall it seems that it should be a well-built BMW that is fully electric and prices alongside their other vehicles, instead of far more expensive. There's also a BMW iX coming. The BMW iX is expected to go on sale in 2022, as well as get 300 miles of range and include fast charging. It's roughly the same size as the BMW X5 and will likely feel like the SUV version of the i4. Pricing of the iX starts around $80,000, which looks quite expensive. So it's going to compete with Tesla's premium SUV, the Model X. Now let's talk about the EV, you've probably heard about by now, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. The Mach-E starts at $42,895 for the cheapest model. The best models get up to a 300-mile range, which is incredibly impressive, and tops all of the brands we'll be talking about, besides Tesla. 
In the real world it has also been performing great in reviews and living up to its promised ranges, which is pretty rare. It gets a 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds for the performance models, and the cheaper models get a 230 mile range. Upcoming is Ford's Blue Cruise, which is said to be their equivalent to Tesla Autopilot, and it will be enabled in the car via an over-the-air software update. It's an SUV, which makes the Mustang name an interesting choice, and it is proving very popular and will continue to grow in popularity in the next few years. Coming to the next one is the newest announcement from Mercedes, the EQS. The EQS is the first full review of the future plans Mercedes has for electric vehicles. The EQS is all about luxury, and Mercedes claims that is the most aerodynamic production car in the world. The main draw right away for this car is the interior, with massive screens all along the dash. These screens look impressive and contribute to the futuristic look this vehicle has. Instead of going with 300 miles of range or so, Mercedes is promising over 400 miles of range in the EQS. When you add that impressive range on top of the technology packed inside, this car has a steep starting price, close to $100,000. It includes their own driver assistance technology, along with self-parking assist. This car doesn't seem be competing much with Tesla, other than the Plaid Model S. But it's a great EV from Mercedes, a step forward into their own electric future. Mercedes is actually planning to launch a new electric vehicle every year. Going forward, including the 2022 EQA SUV, the EQB SUV, and EQE sedan. Next up is the Mazda MX-30. The MX-30 is an all-electric SUV that should be coming in fall of 2021, according to Mazda. It's great to see an all-electric vehicle from Mazda, however the battery pack is only 35.5 kWh total. This means that the range of this vehicle will end up closer to 100 miles. So the price should be fairly low in order for them to actually sell this car. Mazda actually plans to make a hybrid version of the same car after the electric version. It doesn't really signal much of an electric shift for Mazda just yet. Nissan is going in a much different direction, with the Aria coming this year. The Nissan Aria is an all-electric crossover, with a new kind of interior, for a new kind of driving. The Aria is the follow-up to the Nissan LEAF, which was amongst the first electric vehicles out there. It promises a 300-mile range, which would put it right in line with the Ford Mustang Mach-E. It includes Pro Pilot 2.0 which is their own self-driving system, as well as a very software-based modern interior. It still has a lot of buttons, but appears a little simpler inside. The Aria is expected to cost around $40,000, with the more expensive model coming in around $45,000 or so. It should be another very compelling EV to compete across the board. Next is the Kia EV6, which is Kia's first dedicated electric vehicle. It's built on their new electric global modular platform and promises incredibly fast charging as well as incredible performance. Inside, it will feature a number of screens as well as a new augmented reality heads-up display. It promises 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds and should get close to a 300-mile range in the long-range model. There will also be a lower-range rear-wheel drive version at around $45,000. So this vehicle should fall in line with many other electric crossovers, like the Model Y, Ford Mustang Mach-E, Hyundai Ioniq 5, VW ID4, Chevy Bolt EUV, and Audi e-tron Q4 all competing in the same space. Next is the Volvo C40 Recharge. This car promises a lot of future tech and learns from their XC40 Recharge, which has been out for a little while. It is built in Google Android software, much like the Polestar does, which is a Volvo company. The large battery pack is expected to allow up to 210 miles of range and will be available in 2022. It actually won't be available at dealers and will only be available to order online and is expected to cost around $55,000 so it will compete with other vehicles like the Model Y, but will likely get a lower range 
and cost more. Next up is the all-new Hummer EV and Hummer SUV. The Hummer EV is all-electric, starts at $80,000, and promises up to 300-plus miles of range. The 0 to 60 is 3.5 seconds, and the Hummer EV promises a number of advanced driving and off-roading features, such as crab walk. It also includes GM's Super Cruise. But it will be available by late 2022 or 2023. Next one is also from GM, the Cadillac Lyric. The Cadillac Lyric is expected to release by the end of 2022 and comes in at an estimated price of $60,000. It's absolutely a luxury-focused EV with a very futuristic design, according to Cadillac. The Lyric includes a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, which would mean that this vehicle should easily get over 300 miles of range. It includes a gigantic 33-inch curved LED display in the front that covers both the infotainment system as well as the driver gauge display. It will also have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a very high-end audio system. This will likely end up competing in the higher price point with vehicles like the Tesla Model X. But we will see when the final specs are released. Usually we don't expect a Cadillac to compete with a Nissan though. So these electric vehicles from GM will probably be expensive. So those are the most exciting announced electric vehicles from mainstream brands coming out in the next couple years. So what about a number of other brands? Honda, Acura, Toyota, Lexus, Subaru, Dodge, or many more. As of now, these companies do not have true compelling electric vehicles that will be competing with the ones listed, and they are not expected to make electric vehicles that will be available anytime before 2023. There's a possible Honda EV on the way for 2023 and from Toyota. But details are very slim. We can see there are a lot of compelling EVs coming to market in the near future. The biggest challenges will be range, charging options, and price. So it would be interesting to see how these companies affect Tesla's sales. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.